Bert Seelman. I'm here today to talk to you about food utilization. Most people do not understand food utilization, how your food is prioritized and how it gets used and how the body uses it. The number one thing that all food is used for is energy. You have to have brain function, you have to have warmth of body, and your body has to move or nothing is possible. So number one is energy production. Number two is repair. After your body receives its energy, then it will turn to the tissues, then it will start to repair the body, restore the body, or shall we say maintain the body at the level it wants. And then the third thing that any food is left over for after that, then the food goes for stored energy or fat, which you really don't want. That's when you have excessive amounts of food and it's stored as energy. So energy is that number one priority. So let's take a look at how that happens. So it's energy, repair, and then storage. So carbs are an energy food. They are prioritized or their main deal is to be energy, complex and simple. Then there are proteins. And when I say protein, we're talking only complete protein. Complete protein that can do a complete job. And then that is used for repair. And it can be used for energy. So we've got some energy that protein can be used for, but mainly it's for repair. And then we have fats. Fats are a concentrated energy, and those are used for energy, and it's a very, like it's saying, a concentrated amount. So let's take a look at this now. When we have our carbohydrates, we have simple and complex, and they are partly used for a little bit of material in there if it's an incomplete protein for repair. Then we have the repair food, which is protein. So if you're going to eat too much of any one food, or you wanted one food that was more dual purpose, that would be a complete protein. This is why in survival mechanisms and survival situations, complete protein is so important. And the hardest thing to find in a survival situation is concentrated energy. If you were out in the wild, the hardest thing to be would be to find the nuts, be able to find the foods that have a little higher fat content, where straight carbohydrates are not what you really want to be using, uh, just as themselves. You've got to have that repair. So if you're going to eat too much of any one food, you'd want to have all the protein you could have so that your muscle is maintained. If you have enough protein, complete protein, and you can maintain your lean body mass, then your metabolism stays good. Most people today are eating too many carbohydrates and trying to use some of those carbohydrate prioritized foods with a minimum of protein in them called incomplete proteins to repair their body and run. So what happens is their body has too much excess body fat, as you're seeing everywhere, from using too many carbohydrates and they're not getting enough protein and then the muscle goes away and that slows the metabolism. So if you're gonna have any two foods that you're gonna to wanna to prioritize, it would be complete protein and some fats, like your olive oil, your safflower oil, or your butter, or your lard. So that way your body can use the, literally the glycerols from fat and the complete proteins from the protein or complete protein flesh foods to get everything that you would need because glycerols from fat and complete proteins can make energy. But if you're gonna have all the energy foods and everybody wants to lean to the carbs, you're gonna get those extra calories, they're gonna be stored in the back seat, and then what's gonna happen is your lean muscle is gonna go down because you didn't have enough energy uh, in the beginning possibly to keep it up to do the repair. And if you did get to the repair stage, you didn't have enough protein. So if you're gonna prioritize, make sure that it's complete protein, then some carbohydrates. And the best carbohydrates for anyone are low glycemic type of carbohydrates. Those from vegetables that are low glycemic will actually burn more calories from the mouth until it exits the body than what it will give you, but it will still leave all your muscle repaired. So that's your priorities for food utilization.